I'm bored. They changed the thumbnail thing. They changed, what is this? Who is that? That's not me. I would never get a big fucking flower tattoo on my left arm. All right, let's play. Let's play bad boys girl. What happened last time? Here is a quick recap to catch you up. Mmm. Oh. All caught up. Fantastic. Let's play. I actually don't remember what happened last time. Oh, that's right. Nicole. Nicole was being all ominous. Like, I'm gonna get back at the stone, brothers. I'm pretty sure she said it like that, too. Chapter 18. Yeah, there's that sad bitch. I can already hear the rumors. She's afraid to go back to school because people are going to make fun of her for having a job. Because fuck a bitch that works. Nicole's broke. I deserve it. Blah, 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 blah. What would they have to do with anything? Seriously? They're the reason my life's a living hell right now. You mean because one rejected you so you use the other to try to make me jealous? Is that why your life's a living hell? That's the reason they're at fault. Good good logic, Nicole. Yo, she's got bags under her eyes as well, man. I had a chance to come back to school, but Cole made sure of it that I would never walk at graduation. Damn, Cole's brutal. When exactly were Cole and Jay going to ask my opinion on all this? You're furious. Confront the stone boys. No one fights your battles for you, or you're a little perturbed. A little perturbed. <laughs> perturbed is probably the funniest word in the English language. Say it like three times out loud. Just like with a little space between them. Perturbed. 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 <laughs> Ask the stone boys about Nicole's accusations. I don't trust Nicole with anything. I'm gonna, I'm a little, I'm just a little perturbed. Yeah, let's, let's talk to the stone brothers. Oh, fuck, they got a pool. Their dad is a police officer. Or a police sheriff. How does he have that much money? If you have vines crawling up the side of your house, you have too much money. Hey guys! Hey, y'all can't come to join me for a lap? Oh, it's a fucking lap pool? First off, no. And secondly, here's the thing. I get home today, Nicole's sitting on my front porch. What? What? Yeah, what? Really? That's weird. Yes, it is. Did she hurt you? Bitch could never. I got fucking grade A karate skills. Not exactly. Well, what then? What the hell does she want with you anymore? Actually, I was hoping you might clarify that for me. How exactly? She tells me the reason that she's crying day and night, working a minimum wage job, trying to get into community college, suspended, kicked out of cheerleading, and not walking at graduation is because of you two. Is that true? She got what she deserved. That sounds like an admission of guilt, my friend. I don't need you getting revenge for me. What about Pram? Or Hank's party? You mean the one you made me go to? You are not blaming Cole for inviting you to a party in which later you were sexually harassed at. What happened wasn't my fault. Thank you, Cole. Stop! This isn't about looking out for me. This is about making decisions for me. Fighting my battles. Oh, please. Like you have some moral high ground. Yo, Cole's giving it to her. Not in the way that I want Megan to, but just in a non-good way. <laughs> you didn't hesitate when you slashed Nicole's tires. Oh, you're gonna throw that in my face? That's a low blow. That is a low blow. I felt that in my vagina. That was different. Why? Wait, you slashed her tires? <laughs> Jay is abhorred. He is mortified. Because it was my choice ow, to make mine. I owned it. Nicole deserves everything that's coming to her. Are you planning on murdering her? I'm down. Like, I, I know she's trying to repent, but if we murder her before she repents, then everything's good in my book. Don't tell me you don't find satisfaction in watching her go down in flames. The only woman I would have satisfaction in going down in is Megan. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Are people sick of the Megan jokes yet? I don't know that we can get sick of those jokes, because those are the best. I'm kind of at the end of my rope with the crackhead jokes. I feel like I'm going to use them a little bit less, but the Megan jokes, they're going to continue to the rest of the series. I can't help it, man. Look, we were just trying to protect you. As long as Nicole's around, there'll be plenty more misery coming her way. Nobody hurts my show kid like that. He's, the f he's helping me. Yeah, it's a little bit crazy. I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little bit too protective. But his heart's in the right place, right? My shortcake. Romeo over here thinking he's doing the romantic thing. Listen, Tessa, Cole's all talk. I actually went down to the police station and filed the repair. My dad's taking the case personally. Wow. The fucking sheriff with ivy vines? I'm pretty sure he's crooked. No cop just makes that much money to have ivy along the fucking house. 
without being crooked. Uh, he's, he's getting money from somewhere. The sheriff's department might press criminal charges against Nicole. We have no proof. It would be a wasted case. Excuse me? That's right, criminal charges. She could go to juvie. She can't. There's no proof. Haven't you listened to a word I said? Don't you think that's my choice to make, Jay? Well, told you it was a bad idea, said the guy who convinced me to slash her tires. You fucking dumb. Oh, shut up already, Cole. Tessa, I'm sorry, I never meant to. I'm really driving a wedge between these two brothers. I hope to break this whole family apart. That's my goal. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of your stupid, weird, brotherly pact. I don't want to be your girlfriend. I don't want to be your anything. Wow. Tessie! Wait, a shot cake? Come back. Shit. Yeah. Forget them. I'm done with boys. For good. They're making my heart sing. Tessa! Megan! We need to talk. I want your vagina. Uh, oh, I really have the worst bed sheets. What? May I come in? Just appear out of nowhere. Where? Why are you on your knees? Are you praying? Were you praying? Oh my god. Oh, cheating political dad. This is gonna be so awkward. We wanted to talk about something. Was it the fact that dad was cheating on you? Your mother and I have agreed that it's probably best if we got a divorce. Political dad, you're a fuck. Whatever, nothing matters or what? This can't be happening. You know what? I'm gonna go full cynical goth chick. I'm gonna go whatever, nothing matters. You guys could be moving to Canada for all I care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Just a heartless wench. I'm a heartless wench. Tessa, don't say things like that. Well, you are right. Your mom is technically moving away. I have to live with dad? Whatever, just leave me out of it. Sweetie, do you have any questions? Yeah, can you fucking leave? What's going to happen now? Your mom's moving back to Brooklyn. Why did you put Brooklyn in quotations? <laughs> Brooklyn? Like if you can even call it a city. To pursue her modeling dreams. So my mom, who is 45, is going to now start pursuing modeling? At 45. Great thought, Mom. I'm sure there'll be plenty of opportunities for you. Please, don't use that tone. What tone? That patronizing tone. You don't think I'm gonna make it, do you? I love you, Mom. But I don't think you're gonna make it. That's a stupid dream. You have stupid dreams, Mom. Well, you're a little old to be hand mo hand modeling. Holy fuck. Not only does she want to be a model, she wants to be a hand model. Who's gonna want to take a picture of your 45-year-old ugly ass wrinkly mom hand? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love moms. Don't- that was just a joke. I, you know I love moms. And you're a little old to be screwing the secretary. Get a mom. Does she even know how to drive, Jeff? <laughs> yeah, a stick shift. If you know what I mean. Is dad getting you in here with the innuendo? Is dad dropping innuendo? in front of his daughter while he's breaking the news that he's getting a divorce. Is that really the political dad that I have inherited? Ugh, you disgust me. If you could have just kept it in your pants. Speaking of pants, I'm wearing cupcake pajamas. That's all that matters. I really shouldn't be this sad because I'm wearing my favorite pajamas. Nothing bad can happen if you're wearing your favorite pajamas. That's a life tip for you guys. Well, if you weren't high all the time on painkillers, well, family secret time. Why do you think she's high all the time? Dad, is it because she's in a loveless marriage? That one goes back to you. I'm sorry, but that's on you. Maybe I'd actually feel something for you. <laughs> oh my god. My, I can never have a relationship ever again. Look at my face. I am scarred. I'm pretty sure I can never have a meaningful relationship ever again. I don't know why my voice went all high like that. I apologize for going through puberty on camera. Oh, so this is all about you. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Yeah, go at it. Go at it. Get all the anger out. Bang it out. Not Just don't do it in my bed, please. Did you see it coming too, Travis? Why are you in a fucking tuxedo? It's like 9 a.m. I'm in pajamas, you're in a tuxedo. What are you doing at 9 a.m. in a tuxedo? No event ever in the history of time has ever required a tuxedo at 9 a.m. I thought they were happy. It's not like mom or dad would have expected you to notice. You had a rough between the stones and Nicole and everything. Yeah, I guess you're right. So what happens now? I don't know. Dad said I'm the man of the house now. Isn't, is dad leaving too? <laughs> Where is dad going? Mom's moving. Why would he be the man of the house? Why aren't you in college? Why are you here? 
Why aren't you in a dorm? So we're basically parentless? Two orphans just traveling along. You know what they told me last night? That it's time for me to take some responsibility for my life. What a joke. <laughs> As if they expect me to get my life in order. They want me to drop my drug addiction. <laughs> Can you believe that? Hey, I've got an idea. Let's cheer you up, yeah? I don't know if I'm in the mood. <laughs> That's the reason you're being cheered up, you fucking dumb. Come on, I'm picking up Beth in a little while. Why don't you have dinner with us? I'm in pajamas and it's the afternoon? Man, I really am depressed. But wanna be weird with me as a third wheel? Who knows, maybe you'll meet the love of your life. Maybe we invite Megan. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. Spitballing. On a dinner date with my brother. Anything's possible. Maybe on a date with me and your friend, you'll meet the love of your life. Or maybe the love of your life is already in the room. I see your angle, Travis. I am not into you sexually. Like, cool. You're my brother. I'll support you. So long as you don't do too many drugs, I'll support you. But I'm not having sex with you. I'm not having your babies. I feel the need to speak it out loud because it seems like you're still dropping hints that you want me. In a very R-rated way. No, no, beyond R. Triple X. Oh, hey. It's a nice place. Wow. What the fuck? You didn't even dress up to the fucking occasion? What is he doing here? We thought you could use some company. What the fuck, Travis? Or, oh my god, this is so humiliating. It's not humiliating. I know him and he's into me. I just don't like being ambushed. So, what the fuck, Travis? You lied to me. No, I just left out a few minor details. This isn't funny, Travis. You were the one concerned about being the third wheel and all. Besides, it was Beth's idea. Why wouldn't you call Megan? Do you know me at all, Beth? I'm starting to wonder about our friendship. I don't know that we should be friends anymore. I think Beth, me and you can just go our separate ways. Ah, oh, this is not a date. You, you literally just wear the same shit that you wear to school. The drug addict is in a tuxedo. You need to dress up as much as a drug addict because he's gonna put in the base amount of effort. You're right, it's not a date. It's whatever you want it to be, Tessie. It's your choice to make. He's respecting, he's trying to respect me. I like that, Jay. Well, we're here now, so let's eat. Why are we all sitting on one side of the fucking table? <laughs> is this comfortable for everybody? We're just gonna sit four in a line, even though the table is fucking circular? I swear they told me you knew I would be here. It's fine, Jay. Oh my god. The waiter is more dressed up than Jay. Hey, waiter, are you single? Pardon, monsieur. Would you like a glass of wine this evening? Uh, that's my French accent. No, thanks. I'm going on two months now. Sober. Okay. So he's the kind of guy that wants to throw his sobriety in people's faces. He couldn't just say, no, I don't want to drink. He wants to show off. Like, hey, I'm not an addict anymore. Two months sober, everybody. Hey, waiter, two months sober. Hey, guy in the corner, two months sober. Hey, other guy. Oh, that looks good. Is that crack? Hey, please forgive me and congratulations. I'm, I lost my French accent, man. It's gone. You too make a nice couple. I have to say, I agree. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've always been skeptical of you stone boys. But I think Jay's a real winner. And he's so handsome. You're gonna say that right in front of your boyfriend? This isn't creepy at all. When did Beth and Travis become my parents? Well, you kinda need new ones, let's be real here. I agree with Beth on the nice couple thing. What do you think? Yes, Jay's always had my back, or no, we're not a couple. Jay, get it through your thick head. I can't love you. You don't have a penis. How will we make babies? You can't even produce sperm. We're not a couple. Once again, this is not a date and we are not a couple. Not right now, but who knows what the future holds. I'm okay with that. I'll let that comment slide because who knows what the future holds. You can imagine a future with me. I'll imagine my future with Megan. Okay, we can all just have our own futures. I appreciate the gesture, but I don't think I'm ready for anything yet. No one's asking. Not tonight. I've got it. Waiter. I will have the I am two months sober. Uh, I mean the steak. Sorry, I get it mixed up in my head because I am two months sober. There's this place I want to take you, and I think you'll really like it. Oh, it's gonna be hella romantic. What kind of place? If I tell you, it's not a surprise. But I can give you a hint. It's a place we can score. I'm gonna pass, Jay. I'm gonna go home. See you later, guys. Have a great night. Very subtle, Jay. I'm intrigued. Go on a surprise adventure with Jay or no thanks. Jay, this is not a fucking date. I'm not going with you. And I'm especially not paying gems just for you to pull your pants down and I see a Ken doll. No thanks. I'd rather just stay out with Travis and Beth. 
Of course. Would you like coffee or dessert? Why would I want coffee? It's like 9 p.m. It's getting late. I can take you home. Or I can. It's not a big deal. Hmm. It's fine. Jake can take me home. I'll see you later tonight. Should have went home with them. Should have went home with them. Bye. Don't abandon me, bitch. She's not my friend. Beth is not my friend. Hey, listen, Tessie. I thought about what you said. And if I ever overstep my bounds about anything, Nicole, Cole, whatever, I'm really sorry. I have no regrets about Nicole getting what she deserved. But I do regret ever hurting you. This guy is good. I feel like he's manipulating me. He always knows the perfect thing to say. I don't trust him. I just don't trust him. I'm done with Nicole and Fatty Tessie. Amen, sister. And everything that happened before prom. I just want to move on with my life. And I can't do that with you and Cole trying to control me. I want to move on too. I know you didn't choose me. But that doesn't mean we can't enjoy some cheesecake together. And be friends, right? Okay. You established. I'm comfortable with this. We're friends. Don't make another move, Jay. This was fun. Thanks. You don't have to thank me, Tessie. <gasps> Why are you just in the middle of the park at like 11 p.m. Crying. That's pathetic. Who goes to a public park and cries? You know what good place to cry, Nicole? At the bottom of a river. You can't even see the tears. And you can't even feel anything because you'll be dead. What is she doing here? I think she's crying. <laughs> you don't say. Is she wearing her work smock? I am drunk. Shit. Hold on. What are you doing here? This used to be our spot when things were so much simpler and we were all friends. That was a long time ago, Nicole. And before you decided to ruin my life. I just don't understand what happened. What changed? What happened, my dear Nicole, is Cole rejected you, revealed that he liked me, so you decided to go out of your way to ruin my life. Make sure all my friends hated me. Made sure the whole school knew I had an eating disorder. Oh yeah, and then also sent a guy to sexually assault me in a bathroom. That's what happened, if you wanted a little recap. You did. You changed. Get him, Jay. She's drunk, Jay. Don't listen to her. Was I really all that bad when you really think about it? Yes, you were. Can you ever forgive me? I don't know what you've got up your sleeve, Nicole. But you mopping around like this, it doesn't suit you. You should go home and get some sleep. I'll call you a cab. I'm sorry, Tessa. I shouldn't have taken Jay away from you. I know you always liked him. I know he meant the world to you. Shut up. <laughs> hey, Jay is on her ass. I'm into it. Wait, I want to hear her out or let's leave now? Let's hear her out, man. And then we can make a rational decision. Let's hear it out. You were always a sweetheart to me and Tessa, Jay. And I wish I could take back the past. You can't. What's done is done. Tessa, he used to talk about you in his sleep. He'd dream about you. Oh, that's so cute. Whisper your name. He never really loved me. Not the way he loves you. That's enough, Nicole. Wait, Tessa. Tessa, please. Please forgive me. I hope you've really changed, Nicole. I truly do. But I can't forget. And I can't forgive you. She's okay, right? Nicole? Yeah, the cab driver said he'd pick her up in 5-10 minutes. I'm pretty sure she's not getting in that cab. I think she might die. I'm pretty sure Nicole's gonna commit suicide. This is a transition into 13 Reasons Why. I had a good time regardless. A nice dinner. Two friends. <coughs> yeah, me too. Two friends. Do you hear that music? Yeah, that's strange. Oh, there's a party going on. Cole threw a party in my house. Cole, what the hell are you doing inside my house? And who are all these people? Time for a rager, shortcake. I know you've been mad at me and all, but don't worry. Cole Stone always knows how to cheer you up by bringing guys in full football uniform to a party at my house. Don't know about that, Cole. Ah, <laughs> yeah, Jim. The new background kind of threw me off for a second. Oh, damn it. I put the water bottle on my shirt and now it looks like my nipple's sweating but just my right nipple for some reason my left nipple just has more efficient sweat glands i guess i don't know chapter 19 a rager really cole you think a rager's what i need what's a rager man fuck you how are you the second most popular guy in school and you don't know what a rager is it's like a more intense party jay even i know that fuck you come on tessa we can go back to my place no wait don't be such a wet blanket bro 
What? I didn't even see Cole there. Cause I, the fucking football guy. <laughs> we have more tiny humans dancing on Cole's knees. This is the second time in as many episodes I've seen tiny people. They're just attracted to Cole. They just want to stand on his knees. I don't understand it, tiny people. Tessa needs to relax, unwind, party. Please slow down and explain to me what the hell's going on. Your dad called my dad and said to look after his Tessie. Said you could use some cheering up. Cole is so immature. Why do I even like him? This is insanely inappropriate, man. You think a party's what Tessa needs right now? You really don't have a clue, do you? Tonight's not about fighting, brother of mine. Why are you talking like that? Tonight's not about fighting, dearest brother of mine. It's about raging. Join the fin. Megan brought chips and guac. Megan's here. Oh. Okay. Uh, you know what, Jay? I think we should stay. Let's just stay at the party. Let's have some fun. Wait. Megan's here? I think Lil Tessa wants some Megan. Hey! What's up, Megan? Ah! What's up? Well, the offer's open if you want to come back to my place. We can watch a movie or something. That would be fun, but... Megan's here. Well, a bunch of my friends are here, and this is my house. And my dad's with his secretary, and my mom's figuring out her shit. And maybe Cole's right. Maybe I should just relax and have fun. Cole knows how to win me over. Just get Megan involved. Well, I thought we had fun earlier. <laughs> we did. Hey, listen, you should stay. There's Guac. Oh, I bet this sap is boring you already. Come on, let's dance. Dance with Cole or dance with Jay? Man, fuck you, Jay. Jay's trying to guilt trip me right now. I'm not into it. Fuck you. All right, let's dance. I've always wondered what goes on in that cute head of yours. Oh, nothing. You know, just stuff. Listen, I know I'm a bit much to handle sometimes, but I just feel like sometimes you gotta shake that bad juju out, you know? You gotta just dance. 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 No, I get it. It's kind of charming, actually. I agree. Distract me from my emotional pain for a little while. It's, it's a nice gesture. But the fact of the matter is I'm gonna have to clean up tomorrow. And there are people here in full football uniforms. You know if they come in full football uniform, they're gonna trash the place. It's just a fact. Hey, I want you to meet somebody. Okay. Oh, that's his friend from military school. Yeah, he's got the camo pants. Holy fuck. I knew before I saw him that it was gonna be someone from military school. But as soon as I saw the fucking camo pants, I'm like, yep, he's a military school dude. This is Lan. Lan, your friend who got cheated Ann. Hey Lan, you got some stupid ass colored hair. You let him call you short kick? He thinks it's endearing. I don't. I think it's fucking stupid. So how do you guys know each other? Didn't he just say he's his military school buddy? How do you guys know each other? I don't know, maybe fucking military school, you moron? Lan's my best bud from military school. We go way back. Like, at the start of military school, probably? I can figure out all the fucking details, Cole. I don't need to explain to me. Oh, Lan's got a girlfriend. Well, that's an entrance. Okay, who is this? Oh, I didn't see you there, sweetheart. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. She's southern. Uh, let me get my southern accent on. Oh, I didn't see you there, sweetheart. You're so skinny. I'm jealous. You must be Tess. It's Tessa, actually. Oh, really? Tess Air. It's so nice to finally meet you. <laughs> that's, that's not Southern accent at all. Oh, Cole's tell me so much about you. I hope nothing embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I've heard plenty, believe me. Cole's such a bad boy, isn't he? Bad boy? Did she just wink at Cole? I must be imagining things. I'm gonna start getting jealous. I'm also about to take an elbow in the face. Bitch, get your elbow away from me. Come on, let's go dance. You don't mind, do you, shortcake? No, go ahead, get it on with the fucking southern bitch. Me? No, no, not at all. Um, yes, hello. Go back to Jay. You know, fuck you, Cole. See you later. Well, they fucking ran to the floor. They ran to dance. They wanted to dance with each other really bad. She gets a little wild when she had too much to drink. Don't we all? Lan, right? Jay, it's been too long, my dude. That's not a typical male greeting between two straight males. It's usually a dap up or like a high five or something, a pat on the shoulder, something. But I'm pretty sure they just kissed each other on the cheek. 
Where are we, fucking England? Thanks for taking care of my brother at school. Hey, I'd do anything for Cole. And you, for that matter. So, how'd Cole deal with all those rules at Eagle Heart Academy? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I forgot what accent I'm doing with this guy. I'm just gonna mix it up. He was probably skipping class, causing trouble and heartache. No, tell me more. I wanna know. <laughs> Tell me more, tell me more. Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> Does he look like a bitch? Well, like I said, you think you know Cole Stone, but... Um, uh, I've said too much. You've literally said nothing, you motherfucking... I never liked her. You know her? Erica. Yeah. What don't you like about her? Don't know. Just a feeling, I guess. Great reason. Oh, fucking, what the hell, Travis? How did Travis get home later than me and he left first? We even went to the fucking park. Mom and dad are gone for three hours and you're throwing a rager? What happened to you and Jay? We walked home and then found out Cole was having a party for me. It's a school night. Man, you really are a dad. Get the fuck out of here, Travis. Yeah, and I'm basically an orphan, so what's the problem? Hey, what's up, Megan? Bravis, you need to chill. <gasps> Megan has my motherfucking back. I, I adore this woman. I... Uh... <laughs> Change the screen. Bravis, Beth and Travis, it's your couple name. I like it. Me too. Megan, shut up. Man, Beth... You do not tell my main bitch, Megan, to shut up. I will fucking slap you. I will fucking slap you. I couldn't think of a better insult. I'm just gonna slap her. Wait, where is Tessa? Seriously, I'm still upset about this party. Okay, look, Cole's trying to make Tessa happy in his own Cole way. And frankly, it looks like it's working. It does look like it's working. I don't know. She actually does look happy. Thanks, Beth. I don't forgive you. You're still on the edge. You're still on the fringes of friendship, but thank you for that. We won't stay out too late, and we'll all pitch in to help clean up, right? And Cole will help too. Please, Travis, just let your sister have some fun. Hasn't she been through enough already? Megan's got my back. What the heck? Kids will be kids. Don't say kids will be kids when one of those kids is your girlfriend. Your girlfriend is the same age as these kids, and you're talking about them like they are inferior to you, like they are too young to be held responsible for their decisions, and yet you're dating one of them. It's not like I have any prospects or book deals. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's dance. Hey, Megan, you don't got a dance partner? I, I'll dance with you. Why? Maybe Cole is onto something. I haven't had this much fun in a while. He says that after dancing with me. Did you feel anything, Tessa? Did you feel anything brushing against your thigh as you were dancing up close like that? Because we were going to have a problem if you did. Are you drinking? It's just orange juice. This smells like vodka, Travis. You can smell that, can't you? Where'd you get this? I don't know. It's just my drink, Tessie. Where'd you get this? I don't know. You're at a fucking party where they're handing out drinks. Maybe there. You're drunk. No, you're joking. I'm too much sober. Hey, waiter. I'm sober. It's not even your cup. It's got the letter E written on it. E for ecstasy, you drug addict. You're drinking the wrong drink, Travis. This is a screwdriver. Oh, well, look at that. There was an accident. <laughs> Erica's. God damn it. Fuck Erica. You let him drink, Tessie? Don't fucking blame me. No, it must have been an accident, Beth. No, it wasn't. He fucking intentionally did it. So Cole Stone throws one party and my sober boyfriend falls off the wagon. Great. I think you're blaming the wrong person. Blame your boyfriend for not being strong enough to fight his addiction. Fuck you. Come on, Travis. Let's get you to sit down for a second. I'm fine, really. Beth, it was a mistake. He didn't mean to. Look, Tessa, I know you like Cole, but whenever he's around, bad things tend to happen to other people. Defend Cole or blame Cole for always ruining a good thing. Fuck you, Beth. Absolutely, 100%, fuck you. Get out of my house. Defend Cole. First, Cole and I are just friends, and I'm sticking to that story. Yeah? Who are you kidding? And second, like I said, it was just an accident. He must have picked up Erica's drink by mistake. He's an alcoholic, Tessa, or did you forget that? He's recovering, and with our help, he'll get over this. I promise. You just don't lose the disease, Tessa. It stays with you. For life. Don't you think I know my own brother? If you did, maybe you would have been looking out for him. Listen here, you dumb bitch, Beth. 
What a stupid fucking name. Everyone knows Liz is the shortened of Elizabeth, not Beth. Stupid ass Beth. I'm gonna need you to take 15 steps to your left, and you'll find a door. Open that door, walk to the other side, and then close that door. If you don't, in the next 15 seconds, I will get a lighter and gasoline and burn you alive. How does that sound? Obviously, you're too blinded by Cole's charm to realize how dangerous he is. He's ruined your life before, and he's ruining everyone else's too. <clears throat> Fuck you. Come on, Travis, we're leaving. It's his fucking house. He has a room here. I'll just find Cole, we can dance a little longer, and then call the party off. It'll all be fine. It won't be fine. Shit, what the hell just happened? Did I just lose my best friend? Is my brother going to be okay? Okay, here's the thing. Beth is not your best friend. Megan is your best friend. Megan has had your back on every single thing in this entire time. Beth has tried to drive a wedge between you and your brother. Don't trust that bitch. Why did I agree to this stupid party in the first place? Just breathe, Tessa. <gasps> breathe. I gotta talk to Cole and cancel the party. But wait, where is he? Is that the fucking waiter from before? That's such a sexy leather jacket. Can I try it on? Sure. Is that Cole and Erica talking alone? Upstairs? How dare the guy I friend zoned talk to another girl? Yes, I cheated on him as well. But how dare he talk to someone else? I'm not gonna kiss Cole before Erica does. Fuck that shit, man. Be passive aggressive. <laughs> Hey, Tessie. Hey, I was looking everywhere for you. Well, we're right here. Well, blah, 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 blah. well, we're right here. I can't do the southern accent, fuck it. I wasn't asking you, you leather jacket wearing fuck. Can I talk to you in private? Sure thing, sure kick. See you around, Cole, Tessie. So, what's up? It's, um, my brother. He accidentally got drunk. Is he okay? No, Beth's really mad. I'm sorry, Tessa. I told people to label their drinks and be extra careful. You did? Well, yeah. Travis might not like me all that much, but I still gotta look out for him. He's my shortcake's brother. That's really sweet. Want me to call off the party? Would you? Consider it already done. Okay, that's kind of sweet. I can read you like a book. Something's still bugging you. At first I thought he said, I will read you a book, like a nighttime story. I thought he was gonna read me to sleep. <laughs> Why were you upstairs? Huh? You were alone with Erica. Upstairs. What? Oh, I just had to use the bathroom. Nature's call. And what about Erica? What about her? Press goal further or let it go? Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna press it. She obviously likes you. What are you talking about? I can read you like a book. You think me and Erica? Yeah, I'm not dumb, Cole. I know what I saw. That's Lan's girl, shortcake. Well, it sure looks like she was trying to flirt with you. You're angry at Cole for another girl flirting with him when you cheated on him with his brother. Like the same day you agreed to date him. Oh no, she just wanted to see my jacket. That's all. Cole, don't be fucking stupid. That's all. Cross my heart and hope to kiss you a thousand times. You romantic bitch. When has that line ever worked? Exactly twice. You're disgusting. Let's have one more dance to close out the night. A slow one. Just you and me? Always. Oh, that's so romantic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is she still- <sighs> Across the room. She's literally just across the room. Jam! I can't get that excited because she's literally just across the room watching. You're gonna have me pretend like there's nobody else around except her and she's in the room 10 feet away and we didn't see her. I do have a feeling that Lan is gonna get cheated on. Poor Lan, man. First his mom cheats on his dad, and then now his girlfriend's into his best friend. Lan's got a hard life. He's got, he's in military school too. I don't know the story behind that. I hope you guys, <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Go back and watch the first one or watch this other random video. I have a lot of cool videos coming up on my channel and also I got a new computer so my videos will be faster. I'll be able to produce more content, more videos coming up. So make sure you're subscribed. I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day.